Today we're talking about warming up on the trumpet. Hi, my name is Chris Davis, and welcome to a channel that I call Trumpet Lessons HQ. Here I teach trumpet fundamentals. I give you tips, demonstrations, and encouragement to help you become a better trumpet player. If that's something that you know that you want, go ahead and press the subscribe button right now. So as you know, things are opening up again after being on lockdown for a little over a year. And as a result, I find myself playing more gigs. Recently, I played downtown Chicago with Chicago Jazz Philharmonic. And on the same job was the US Army Field Band. So I took the opportunity to talk to some of the brass players in both groups. I asked them simply, uh, what do you do to warm up? And I want you to notice the similarities and the differences in all of the answers. And we're gonna talk about that today. First up is Master Sergeant Ward Yeager. What do you do to warm up on the trumpet? Hi, I'm Master Sergeant Ward Yeager from the U.S. Army Field Band. Uh, for my warm up, I tend to like to do just a couple of deep breaths, play a little bit on the mouthpiece, maybe a tune or just a couple of smears. And then I start doing some just easy scales or some sort of flow study just to kind of start expanding out from around the middle, uh, high and low. Uh, start to add in a few simple slurs as well as some articulated scales, other things, maybe a tune that I know, uh, till I just start to feel both physically and mentally in the game and ready to go. Uh, so depending on the day, it might be a few minutes, might, might be more, but that's kind of how it goes for me. There are two things that resonated most with me. He said that he starts in the middle of the range and extends to the outer edges. I think that's really key when you're talking about warming up. Let's hear from Sergeant Major Bob Cherry, French horn player. Hi, I'm Sergeant Major Bob Cherry from the Army Field Band. For my warm-ups, I like mouthpiece practice, long tones, and anything from Philip Farkas. Philip Farkas is the master. So far, interviewing two brass players, we found some mouthpiece buzzers. Yes! Mouthpiece buzzers. Hi, I'm Staff Sergeant Tiffany Hoffer. And uh, for my warm-ups, I like to do long tones, flow studies, uh, a little bit of arbins, some lip slurs. Um, basically, just hit all the you know the different aspects of trumpet playing. Um, really, uh, I like to focus mainly on the sound. One thing I like about what Staff Sergeant Tiffany Hoffer had to say is that everything is based on sound. Absolutely, everything that she does is based on the sound. That's a great principle to live by. Next up, we're going to hear from David Spencer and Orber Davis of Chicago Jazz Philharmonic. I'm Orber Davis. And I'm David Spencer. We're trumpeters with the Chicago Jazz Philharmonic. And uh, what do we do to warm up? The first thing is breakfast. <laughs> and then uh, after brushing teeth, long tones. Lots of space in long tones. I agree. Uh, I use Salzburg, as a matter of fact. I do a uh, combination something that starts with Salzburg, do some things like that. After that, I do some uh, very basic uh, lip flexibility exercises. I don't try to play too high. Don't play too low. Just right in the middle of the right. horn. That's right. how I start anyway. Right. That's it. And since uh, we haven't warmed up today yet, I'm going to warm up. <laughs> so, so to sum things up, some things that I heard that these brass players have in common is that they focus on long tones. They focus on starting in the middle range of the trumpet and then expanding to the edges, low and high. Many of them use scales to warm up as well. Those are all commonalities, but the main points that I want you to walk away with today is to listen to your body, take things slowly, and take warm-up time as a time to lock in mentally to what you need to do on the trumpet that day. And we didn't talk about this much today, but warming up on the trumpet is not the same thing as practicing your routine. I just wanted to say that today. If you want to know what a trumpet routine is, go ahead and click on the video on the screen. And if you want to continue your learning on another topic, click a different video. And either way, I'll be there waiting for you. All the best.